Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. We're now going to make our 3.5 millimeter drill guide, and there's a slight difference with the fabrication of this drill guide. And the thing that's different from the 2.8 millimeter drill blank is any of the drill sizes above 3.0 millimeters will not fit in our tool guide here. So at this point, our choice is either to go to the drill press or also available from the desk is a clamping device that I have fabricated that this clamping device does a good job of holding the 3.5 millimeter and the 4.2 millimeter drill blank against our vertical spindle of our surveyor. So if I look at my surveyor here, the thing I want to do is to take the knurled nut that's usually used to hold the tools in place, and I want to remove this knurled nut and set it aside where it will not be lost. I have fabricated this spring clamp, and you can see when the jaws are slightly open, that one side has triad gel placed on it and cured that has a slightly larger radius than the other side. So this clamp, one arm fits the vertical spindle of the surveyor and the other arm is set up to very nicely grasp the larger drill blanks and simply clamp them in place with this clamp that you can check out from the desk. So now what we will do is just like we had done before, we can just place, and here again we have to be very particular and get a good look. It's hard to see with this clamp in the way, but I'm being very particular making sure that my drill blank is positioned just exactly, and I mean exactly, over the spot that we had indicated for the placement of our implant. So now when this comes in the air, I lift it straight up without twisting it at all and then here again we place some triad gel in this area without twisting or turning this at all I lower this straight down in place here again taking the PK Thomas instrument coaxing and getting this triad gel to adapt nicely to the lingual 180 degrees of this drill blank and then coming in and curing it just like we had done for the other ones. And so for our drill guides, we need a 2.2, a 2.8, a 3.5, which we're doing here, and a 4.2. And we're just placing our triad gel in our second location. And here again, I don't rotate this at all. I lower this exactly straight down because I had pre-positioned this. This camera angle shows a fairly nicely how the triad gel will slump at the buckle and you can use the Peter K. Thomas instrument for coaxing and teasing the triad gel back up around the drill blank. Again, I don't care if the buckle has any material on it, but I want it well adapted at the lingual 180 degrees. Here again, I'm just going to cure this 20 seconds each side. I'm going to go off camera again and we'll come back for our final trimming. We've now completed the curing of the triad gel for this second implant location. And now you can see we're free to take our plier, remove our surgical guide from the cast, grasping the drill blank with the plier, twist first, and then lift. What I will now do again is go near the evacuation port and trim the excess at the occlusal. And with these larger drill blanks, you can see that we've already broken through the buckle aspect, so we can fairly quickly trim the excess. So if I thread it up from the cervical, trying to make real sure that I'm going up nice and solid, or coming down from the occlusal, Make sure that I'm in there real firmly. And sometimes there's a little bit of triad in my way down here at the cervical aspect. So I've got that so it passes in and out very nicely and it freely comes out to the buckle. We proceed to the distal implant placement, check it the same way, 
And again, there's a little extra material at the cervical that we push out. So here again, let's see if we can put it through and it's a little, it'll come out to the buckle, but it's a little bit tight. So I'll stay on camera and trim this just a little bit more. When placed in, no mesiodistal tilt. This completes our 3.5 millimeter drill guide. There's just one more drill guide we need to make and it is the 4.2 millimeter drill guide. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.